with Lon Hosford. Lon is running for Congress against uh, Leonard Lance. He is also a member of our Tea Party. And I give to you Lon now. Thank you. If you come out here, be careful. It might happen to you. You might end up running for Congress the next year. <laughs> it's been a long year. We've been here for uh, doing a lot of things in the Flemington Tea Party. So before I talk about what the issues are, I just want to mention the Tea Party itself. And we spend a lot of time during the year doing all kinds of things. You just don't hear about us. We just go out and do it. And so uh, take a look at our booth down there and sign up. We do neat things. We go visit congressmen, talk to them face to face. We spend some time going down to D.C. We arrange for buses. We've just been doing it for a whole year long. So uh, I'm very grateful to be part of this group. It's a very great group. I have one question for Washington, D.C. and President Obama. Do you hear us now? <laughs> Americans asked the same question in 1776. They saw tyranny, and they rose up, and they opposed it. And so do we. We see socialism. We see progressive elitism. Some of us see communism. And a lot of us see destructive, radical Marxism policies being done in D.C. The independence that we won in 1776 is being taken away. And that's why we're here today. And we want our independence back. Let's start with the national debt. Thirteen trillion dollars, one hundred trillion dollars in unfunded liabilities. Do you hear the word quadrillion coming soon? Now I watch those national debt clocks for my entire adult life. And I'm still younger. <laughs> and now, iPhone has an app for that. By 2020, the national debt is going to require mortgaging all our national resources, all your assets, and your children's labor. It's time to rein in this national debt. And where do we start? We demand truth. We want to find out and audit the Fed. Yeah! And it's time to demand a single and transparent, accountable, and truthful, constitutional federal budget. Yeah! We need to limit the size and the scope of this federal government, and it's now time to ask for truth about our taxes. Congress, remove the hidden taxes now. Yes. Yes. Let's challenge the progressive movement's 16th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States that authorized the federal income tax. What were we thinking when we approved that? Self-economic enslavement? One neighbor benefiting while another neighbor is penalized. Standing in line at McDonald's, we're paying for the person behind us. It's the 16th Amendment is the politician career protection program, and it needs to be repealed. Congress fixed this tax system. It's hindering our job growth. It's hindering our economic growth. It's raising the health care costs through the roof. That's the reason for health care costs going up. It's the federal government and it's taxes. And it's giving tyrants the power over us. Replace it with one that's fair, 
that's transparent and simple, like the fair tax. Let's make this a national debate for 2010, and let's change that. And two more issues. We need to uncap America's energy. So I have a shovel ready. I have a shovel ready job for Obama. Drill, baby, drill! You know, the Jimmy, Ar Jimmy uh, Carter era started the Department of Energy. 30 years later, we have a $26 billion budget, 100,000 people busy at work, and there's where we see zeros. Nothing has come out of that. And also, we want our Congress to stop lying about global warming. We do not need a Congress using false science to entrap Americans in cap and tax. Only national energy policy that I want to hear is Americans innovating in the free market system and not government. Notice the theme is about truth, so let's go for one more. Americans want the truth about illegal immigration. The truth is, it's an invasion. Do you know of any other country that allows mass invasions? No! Of course, they all disappeared from the face of the earth. It's time to demand anyone immigrating into the United States to legally pledge their allegiance to America. Yeah. And no loophole. Anchor babies are not citizens. Let's make that a permanent law. Presidents must be citizens. Let's enforce that constitutional law. Time to close the border, and I have one more shovel-ready job for Obama. Build the fence on our southern border now. Okay, this is, I see this as an epic battle, and I see we have a choice between tyranny or liberty economic enslavement or independent free markets that have served us so, so well. So I say to everyone, take up the banner, let's save this Constitution, regain our independence, and sadly from our own government, with all that you own, with your entire soul. And do not stop until you have elected a Congress and a president that calls for that freedom. Thank you.